Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. This is your intuitive star C Tamara. Back with another general read for the collective. How are you? Thank you for all the likes, shares, and subscribes, you guys. Mwah. Thank you so much. Hugs and kisses to you. To those that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Get in, enjoy the vibe, get the message. Gender can be fluid on this channel, so he can be a she, she can be a he. Take it how it resonates, flip the roles as you need to. If I'm talking about a masculine, I could be talking about a feminine as well, okay? Um, this can be clarity and validation for some of you. So, energy around you, your past person, family, friends, people you have walked away from, people you are around now, moving forward, okay? So, only you know what's on your path, what your journey consists of. So, only take what resonates with you, okay? I do curse on this channel. I do use profanity. So, if you do not like that, click out for me. No love lost. Go to another reader. You know, much love to you, okay? So, with that being said, hopefully you guys are doing blessed, well, and highly favored. Protecting your energy, calling for your energy back, and doing your return to senders. Bam. All right? So, let's get into this message. We're going to pull from the makeshift deck. If we need to use some tarot, we will. If I don't pick up on what I need to pick up on, okay? So, let's do this thing and get this message, all right? out is four so you can be in your fourth house or you can have life path four you can be in your second house and have life path two number two okay so make sure you look those things up to see where they fall um with you before you can say rather those life paths resonate with you or rather um, you're in whatever house, okay? Four or two, okay? The fourth can be significant here, July 4th. Could be involving four people. Um, but let's keep going. Messed up is the next card. So somebody messed up here. And they want you to forgive them. Whatever the hell they messed up, you know, with. They messed up with you, collective man or woman. They messed something up. But they want your forgiveness. You know, for messing up something here. Or for miss, just messing up with you. Is, uh current energy I know why you got me blocked but I am going to keep trying so somebody here they know they messed up with you they know why you got them blocked because they messed up with you but they want you to forgive them but they're going to keep trying to reach out to you they're going to keep trying um, any way they can to within reason to reach out to you. If, if this person seems like they will get to a desperate point, they already there. They already there. So, um, but this person, they know why you got them blocked because they messed up. They messed up with you. They, they messed some stuff up. They messed up. They messed some shit up. They messed up. And yeah, they don't keep trying though. They're gonna be controlling. They can come off as, you know, controlling. The thing this person gonna have to realize is you can't control people. You know what I'm saying? We have to learn to control ourselves. 
you know, that's only, you know, controlling we're going to need to be responsible for is ourselves, is balancing things out within ourselves. You know, to try to control another individual, it's not on your radar. That's not even on your agenda. It shouldn't be. But people that want power, they, they stand to, you know, want control. You know, same thing. You can have control of something and, and God's still going to get the last say. My father's still going to get the last say. So it is what it is. But this person, know they messed up with trying to control you. They, you know, came off as controlling. And this, you know, went along with some other stuff too, you know. This person was just manipulative in areas, you know, Patrolling was one of them, you know, what they tactic, you know, used to manipulate a person, you know, to gain access, you know, to them. You know, when you low vibrational, this is, you know, the type of thing you, you know, expect to happen, you know. But not saying when you, you know, when your vibration is high, you know, you don't have people trying to come towards you in this ragged and ass energy because they will that's why you got past people trying to be in that block you know some of them awakened you know what i'm saying some of them are coming back and they're awakened you know and they just going through like a rough patch because that's part of the spiritual awakening it's part of the dark night of the soul is to hit rock bottom you know to see everything from scratch from start to finish this person enjoys your love making collective They are going to keep trying, though. Twin flames. They trying to... For some of you, this person, this masculine, he's trying to reclaim what he messed up. Uh, he trying to reclaim a union. He trying to go about this union the right way. At first, this masculine may not have really knew a lot about twin flames or soulmate journeys existing, and they may not have been into that at the time when they, you know, was involved with you collective. But this person, minus the twin flames, this person is feeling some type of way, you know, that they messed things up with you, even if it was what they found out it is now, or what they have looked into or have heard more about when it comes to twin flames and soulmates. Um, this person may have looked into this um, based on the fact that they get tarot readings or they listen to tarot, pay for tarot or whatever. Or they may have a business, a small business where, you know, they have around some people that um, do tarot, but shit, whoever they is, they dark in the fucking way. So either way, karmic as hell. You know, um, ain't nothing gonna stop no karmic. You know, if they are lifeless and they're gonna remain that way because they they just cursed. You know, some some people are just cursed. You know what I'm saying? They it ain't no generational curse shit. It's the fact that, you know, when you got dark witches as part of covens and you got dark witches that ain't part of covens. But they they do the most. They can get out and get the you know, doing some some rah rah toward you know some chosen people not knowing they spiritual status and they you know using they rank as a a, a practitioner you know to attack people's spirit you know in ways you know where they feel like they can win where they can um take you out unalive you and all type of shit you know what i'm saying but you know the most high god put us all here for a purpose 
And when you disturb that purpose and you want to shake and rattle and roll some things, then guess what? It's going to, you know, a lot of shit going to come falling down around you. So, you know, people resort to, div you know, divination to um, quiet the storm, but it ain't, it don't work. It doesn't work. But this is, you know, a twin flame union out here. But there's also a person that has messed up in a role in this. Okay, and that's not saying that a divine feminine hadn't done the same because y'all mirroring each other like, you know, y'all twin flames. So you're going to go through things at a different time, but, you know, at a different pace and, you know, uh, for different, uh, diff you're going to have a different timeline, but you, it's all going to come together in divine timing. Okay. But this person, they feel like they know you moved on. They know why you blocked them, you know. And this person feel like they know you have, uh, you no longer attracted to them. And I'm, for some of you, you, you know, you looked at this person beyond looks. So it wasn't really about whether they was attractive or not. But to you, you know. This masculine was, okay, or to others of you, this feminine was. She, you know, she did look good. She was attractive, but the thing about others of you, this person is insecure. You know, they have, you know, they were insecure before you met them. They were, but they project their insecurities about their looks, you know, and their finances, and all this onto other people. Or whoever's around them at the time. And they, you know, they compete and compare themselves to those people. Man or woman, don't matter. But it's a weird motherfucking thing to do and it's unnecessary. You know, it's just unnecessary. You don't need to compare your finances, your looks and all that to somebody else. It just makes you feel insecure. And it will make you question your looks. It will make you, you know, uncomfortable in your own skin. You know what I'm saying? So, for those of you who energy I'm picking up on, man or woman, that, you know, within you, you, you know, have had, you can admit to that, you need to have some affirmations, you know, that you write out for yourself to tell yourself to, you know, record yourself saying it, go back and listen to it, you know, while you, you know, on your lunch break or, you know, while you're driving or whatever, because that's something that needs to come natural to you that you feel about yourself genuinely, regardless of what somebody in the back might be yelling out. You know what I'm saying? But this person, you know, they know why you blocked them, but they're going to keep trying. This person saying they know you moved on, you know, and no longer attracted, you know, to them. But for some of you, you know, you are, you know, attracted to this person. You, you just not attracted to um, the things, you know, that they had going on when it came to you made the whole shit just unattractive. You know what I'm saying? And I feel that, you know what I'm saying? I really do. Cause even the, the most bomb ass dude, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, start to, you know, transform into a damn Decepticon right in front of you because they refuse to change. They refuse to take accountability. They, they refuse to acknowledge that they hurt the people around them that only came to protect them, to help them, to guide them, you know, to be one with them. But you, you know, you could try all day with somebody that's, you know, that's, that's not awakened and they don't choose to be. They want to be in that low vibrational energy, part of like a damn rock star, you know, faking it till they make it, you know, full of, you know, materialistic, you know, v views and values and shit. That's, they, they, that's, that's just how some folks are. It, if they got by last year doing it, they're going to do it again this year. I don't give a damn what their New Year's resolution is. They end up doing that same shit they did last year because they're comfortable doing it. They comfortable doing that and they'll and they'll bet their life on it. You know, that they can do it better than you. Cause it's it's low. It's easy to do. The hard shit is the one thing most people don't want to go toward, especially when it involves them changing, you know, something about themselves that they enjoy so much or they know other, they think other people enjoy. Just to be around them other people. Them other people don't want you to change shit. You need it's something wrong. 
It really is. If you around somebody that got a problem with you changing up how you is, what you do, when you do it, how you do it, you know, who you do it with, you need to get the fuck away from them folks because what's the problem? Yeah, they already done changed the change in your pocket. You don't even hear people jiggling change in their pocket no more. They done put all that shit on the card. So change gonna happen whether you want it or not. And the universe giving back what somebody sent out. Somebody sent out some negativity, some confusion, some illusions, some some fuckery, some trickery. You and the universe is dishing it and you regurgitating it and it's sending it right back to them. Return to sender. You know, so if it's a past lover, if it's an ex, you know, friend, you know, close friend, if it's, you know, a family relative, you know, that you was tight with, whatever. Whatever they dished out is coming back. And now you're going to have some folks running for cover, want to come back around, want you to forgive them because they want to avoid these towels. They want to avoid these um, chaotic, you know, topsy-turvy you know, moments that end up happening, these plans that don't go like they used to because you're going through a dark night of the soul. Ain't nothing going to go the way it used to be because that shit got to stop. Time to change lanes is what I mean. Lane change. My message for the collective Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Thursday can be significant here. And somebody called you slow when they knew better than they knew better than that shit. Somebody called you slow because they thought what it was that they um messed up, you know, before they realized they messed up with you, they was talking shit, you know, allowing others to, you know. Speak ill on your name and talk foul, you know, towards you. And these folks, half of these folks don't even know you. If not, this masculine don't even really know you. Because they ass was juggling. So they don't really know no damn matter. Not even they say. But they, they learning. They they coming into whoever that is. Because this divine union ain't going to let them come, you know, half cocked anyway. So... They what they thought you what they were saying about you being slow now, shit. Uh, what they were saying about you being slow then, I wonder who's slow now. Cause somebody moving at a snail damn pace to come in and uh make some things right here, but it's gonna happen in divine time. But the thing is, this person, um have to start taking accountability and they're starting to do that. And somebody uh got an older soap and water one wash off, but jealousy you child. I'm talking about got a older that's like You never know what's going on with people. Shit, I, I you know half the time I smell people and don't smell them. But somebody got an older, somebody ex or a current person or your past person dealing with somebody that got an older. <clears throat> I remember one time this uh, neighbor of mine had a dog that was dying. The dog had cancer. And I bent down to, you know, pet it. It was like a little weenie dog or whatever. Um... Yeah, like a little sausage dog or whatever you want to call them. And she said, 
you know, if you you always seeing me bathing and stuff outside. I'm like, yeah. She said he has this odor because he's dying. And I was like, what? And so she was like, yeah, he has a um he has some type of cancer. I don't remember the name of it, but she said, you know, the vet was saying you have to let it just take its course because it had, you know, got to its last stages and they didn't want to leave the dog at a pound or with the vet, you know, to put him down or whatever. So they just decided they'd keep the dog, you know, up until his last days or whatever. But they had to deal with the odor that was coming from the dog, you know, so they was constantly bathing him with different shampoos and, you know, keeping their room sanitized and stuff like that and smelling good because of the dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's what came to mind when um this card came out is this person may have something wrong with them. It may or may not be cancer, but I know with animals, I didn't know that either until somebody, you know, around me was experiencing it firsthand. And yeah, so she was like, that's why they always bathing in me, you know, um, sterilizing their room and stuff like that, you know, because I was like, what's wrong? One of y'all sick or something? It's always like ice cold in there. But she was like, her dog is dying or whatever, some kind of cancer. And he has this odor. So this person here, they got an odor soap and water won't even wash off. So it's like they may be trying to self-medicate or like avoid treating whatever this is, but or keeping it to themselves that you know something is going on with them it may be cancer um but it may be something that they just don't want to accept you know is going on and they don't want to deal with it because it's going to bring a lot of attention to them you know as to how they got it or how long they had it and you know just a whole bunch of whatever but i'm saying if i if it is cancer this person need to go get that treated but it's going to make people that she's sexually involved with feel like she got something. Like a STD or something, STI or whatever. They gonna, it's going to make people think you got something when it's really probably cancer or something. You know, that's affecting this person's health, like literally. Because, uh, you know, some conditions do attack your liver and things like that, you know. So... But this person got their ass on you and they won't even deal with their problem. But they jealous of you. They want you to have what is going on with them. And they clingy as hell. They clingy. As a motherfucker, too. This person, got a, this masculine probably had to check in with this broad and all that. Like, this, she blowing his ass up. If he don't answer, she FaceTime. She gonna make sure she check that background out. That's what happened when you involve with somebody, you know, and y'all for everybody, y'all for the streets, so or y'all sneaking around on each other or living, you know, openly or whatever. That's what happened. Somebody gonna end up not keeping up their end of the bargain and they all of a sudden catching feelings and, 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 and holding grudges and doing all kind of, you know, dark divination and shit toward people because they don't like how something going.
Rainy day just make them think of you for like this. Somebody here doesn't forgive you, collective. Somebody here doesn't forgive you because you don't forgive them. <laughs> Maybe that. They don't forgive you for not forgiving them. Yeah, but for some of you, there's somebody out here, male or female, that doesn't forgive you for something. For other others of you, there's a masculine out here that wants your forgiveness. And this could just be you collective. You just don't forgive this masculine. <clears throat> he may want you to forgive him, but you don't. Old school R&B could be significant. Somebody here likes to listen to old school R&B. So you may be into um, a lot of music. You may listen to a lot of old school R&B. But um, you may get your signs and synchronicities through music too. From your past person or current um, energy around you. You may be getting messages through songs, through rap, different songs that whatever old school R&B that you listen to artists, the songs that come to mind or that, you know, may catch you by surprise or whatever when you're not paying attention, those signs and synchronicities for some of you are in old school R&B. So pay attention to that. James can be significant here. Back kisses can be significant. And somebody's practicing self-love at this time, collective. So this could be you and your past person here. But I'm getting this is you. This is both of you. Both of you are doing this. But you walk away from this person um, to do this more recently, I'm getting here. So this could be 
something now you both are doing. Seth can be significant to this read. Someone can drive a Hyundai Sonata. For, I mean, yeah, a Hyundai Santa Fe. I'm going to say a Hyundai Sonata. A Hyundai Sonata could be um, significant too. A Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, any color could be significant here. And somebody's chosen. So... Well, somebody fucked around and found out that you were chosen. I just see somebody been playing in it in your energy. Somebody been using divination here. On somebody and don't fuck around and found out. Now the universe is giving them back what they dished out. So if it was a death ritual, if it was some, you know, some with some harmful intent, some deadly intent to it, that shit getting sent back to you because your light irritates their demons. Joe can be significant to this read. First, middle, or last name. Earl. Can be significant to this read. And she's a user just like him. Somebody is a damn happiness hater. And somebody wants to know when is your birth what it what is your birthday wishes, collective man or woman? And somebody been sending high level demons your way, and that's what the universe is sending back to the ASD demons is gonna mess somebody up mentally. It's gonna mess somebody up financially. This gonna go down through somebody bloodline here. Because these high level demons, once you call on demons, no matter how dark or demonic they is, they know how to reach out to you even when you don't feel like it, child. And they will haunt your ass. This came out in my last read. Somebody won't equal give and take with you. Two months can be significant here. Somebody could be coming towards you or expressing something and in, in exposing, like letting you in on something in two months, like coming forward to. Being asked to eat more fruits at this time, collective man or woman. Let's just look at 
I want you to get them a second chance for real, for real. Somebody could be 50 years old in their 50s, man or woman. Somebody thought, shit, they thought this is not what that was. But whoever this is that did, sent these high level demons your way and using this divination towards you, they fucked around and found out that you was chosen. And have for some of y'all, this person knew you were, but they were trying to get somebody else to do something. Without, you know, giving them the whole truth. But. They're going to pay for this deal. Because the universe is going to get them back. What they dished out. In that order. March can be significant. They probably going to end up getting this back in March. Somebody's birthday could be March 4th, March 2nd, March 16th, March 12th, March 9th. And somebody's family is lying to an attorney about your mental health. Your family is lying to your lying to an attorney about your mental health. They're trying to gain an inheritance here. They're trying to gain an inheritance here. They're trying to gain... If it is not an inheritance, they're trying to gain access to some kind of wealth, generational wealth that you came into that you don't know about and they want to keep it that way too but they trying to prove to this attorney to defend this case that they trying to build against you as to you being incompetent you not being in right your right mind you talk crazy on what you're talking about If you have any questions in mind prior to this read or now that you need a yes or no answer to, no is out here. This person, man or woman, they feeling shattered and destroyed with toxic, um, with this toxic lover they with. And whoever this is, you know, in your family that's, you know, trying to convince an attorney that you got some mental health issues and shit like that, they befriended um, your ex or your ex's person, your past person's karmic lover reached out to some of your family, befriended them to get, you know, some information on you, to get tabs on you. See if they know where you relocated to. Where you might work at. What your routine is. You know, where you hang out at. Do you club? Do you do? Because they looking for something, you know. They looking for something in particular you know, to be going on with you. They may be looking to see if you moved on and who, with who. And they may be asking, you know, this, this, um, masculine may, you know, be curious about that. And this feminine may be asking about it to try to throw it in this masculine face, you know, 
in case he try to come back to you that you got somebody else. Somebody bragged about how you would blow them up when you really moved on. Child. No past person, man or woman, they probably didn't sat up here and been telling telling folks how you blew them, you be blowing their phone up. When they know you done moved on. Could have met this person on a dating site or they could be coming across some of your family members. You know, befriending them the way they doing by way of this dating site. This person ain't got no passion for this person. They got this odor or whatever about them. This person don't got no passion and feeling stuck with this person. And this person saying you're worth the fight. You're mine. This person is saying, you know, they'll fight for you. They wanted you to fight over them, but they see that ain't going to happen. Shit. The only person they gonna get to fight for them is they dog. <laughs> they want somebody to fight fight over them. Shit, go get your dog, man. Take them, you know, put them in a dog fight. That's about as far as that's gonna go. I said this person being in 50s, 53. Could be significant. Somebody could be born in 53. 1953. This chosen one got some spiritual protection out here. There's some spiritual protection on this union. Period. People don't fuck around and find out. Even if your past person X or they your past person's person, you know, know that he part of a union. She attacking him and you on purpose. Oh, she ain't like that, baby. <laughs> There's so many cards fell out. Child. She attacking y'all on purpose. She did not want that to come out. But this is a lot of damn cards. Spirit ain't saying keep them, so they going back up in here. That's why there was a shit load of cars fell out. Yeah, this broad attacking both of y'all. Child child services has gotten involved with this person. They up here doing divination and she got these kids in the house and shit around them. This backfire that spell work is gonna affect everybody in that house. Child services getting involved. This person may have, you know, did this to you in a, in a past situation. Collective could have, you know, lied on you about something going on with a child or when they was a child or something like that or with their child. And honey, this person done turned right around and somebody done did this shit to them. Return to senders. I'm telling you, man. Call for your energy back from people that you no longer, that you know is not supportive of your higher self, your change, and your purpose, your calling. First, I wanted to have a cake and eat it too. She 
The only cake they're going to have is the one. My, my heavenly father's begging for that. Ass. Daniel can be significant. Daniel can be significant to this read. Daniel in the Daniel in the lions then can be significant to this read. I'm not gonna read that story myself. But for those of you that listen to old school R and B and things like that. Even if you don't listen and you listen to a lot of music, make sure you pay attention to the songs that play in your head that just come out of nowhere because that's somebody's message to you, okay? Whether it's a past individual, family, or somebody currently. FBI could be involved in something here. person they praying a lot you know for this second chance you know to get things right there say that say that's the truth be a warehouse worker and try this whoever this person is that's sitting up here with this older and talking about you this girl by got several seats over there, because there's plenty. Somebody say you're yeah, the chocolate factory. You could have a Chinese, you could be, have the Chinese zodiac sheep or goat, which is the month of August. It's an earth sign and it's the yin to somebody's yang. Uh, so Chinese zodiacs go by the year you were born in August, on you know on whatever year you were born in August. So these are the years that um you know leaves you your Chinese zodiac to be a sheep slash goat. Um, it's an earth sign, but it's the yin to somebody's yang. It's a, a month of August, and these are the years that. Um, they, Chinese zodiac go by the year you were born, not the month or a, a time of the day. It may, but I know for sure that it goes by the year you were born in a month. Child, I'm telling you this person went through this. Something triggered this person. Maybe this past person, or hell, even this older may have triggered this person. But this person going through a dark night of the soul, and it's showing them they they wrongs. It's showing them the error in their ways. And somebody here is part of a group of toxic toxic ass groupies. They just like to run their damn mouth about stuff they don't even got facts on. They don't even look shit up. They entertain each other thoughts. And just keep lies brewing and rumors brewing. This this group of toxic ass groupies. Daryl can be significant to this read. Yeah, 
some more then we're gonna get out of here yeah customer service rep could be significant here Any water sign can be significant to this read. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Any water sign. So your past person, most recent past person could be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or their person, or it can be highly aspected in their charts. Earth sign. Any earth sign can be significant to this read. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, energy. This could be you, your past person, or those around you and your past person here. Or it could be highly aspected in their charts. Okay. But any earth sign and any um, water sign. Any, yeah. Any water sign. And any earth sign here. And Archangel Metatron is out here. This is the um Archangel I was telling you about when you call on him to do your return to senders to cleanse your energy, send back any um evil eyes, any hoodoo, voodoo, hexes, curses, spells, death rituals, dark candle magic, mirror magic, all that shit. Call on Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron to you know, protect your energy, your aura. And your light brought this person out of darkness. It is it's bringing this person through this dark night of the soul. You triggered something in this person when you walked away. And stayed away as long as you have. This person watching you for clues and silence. But that's all I got for you guys in this read. So I will be back with another read. Um, make sure you do something nice for someone, even if you don't know them. And again, thank you guys so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. For real, for real, okay? But I will be back with another read um, for you, collective. So make sure you guys come back. Holla back at your girl. But listen, I love y'all even if y'all don't love me. All right? Till next time. Bye.